Before we begin, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. Farmer uncovers strange rock formation that scientists are struggling to explain. Finding an old hammer you lost 10 years ago would be surprising to anyone working the land for a living. But in the case of Argentinian farmer Juan de Deos Sota, he stumbled across something even wilder. After noticing an unusually large lump jutting out of the earth, his life changed instantly. Soon enough, his farm was overrun with scientists just dying for a glimpse of his once-in-a-lifetime find. This certainly came as a surprise to Juan as on the day in question, the humble farmer was simply bringing his cattle to pasture. With a recent drought having swept through the area, there was now more room than ever for his livestock to graze. Even so, Juan's cattle were particularly drawn to the riverbeds of the Vayamanca. While normally flooded with abundant rainwaters, the beds of the small stream now stood cracked and desert dry. But as Juan shepherded his livestock along the riverbed, he nearly tripped over a strange lump in the dirt. Juan just assumed he'd bumped into a rock. That is, until he decided to take a closer look. The rock was covered in a distinct organic pattern, almost as if it had once belonged to some kind of living being. With this inkling in mind, Juan knew this wasn't something to keep to himself. A team of local archaeologists quickly arrived on the scene, whereupon they made a second startling discovery. Whatever this creature was, it seemed to have had some company. Alongside the first mass, the archaeologist unearthed the second object, this one bigger than the last. This led the team to further excavate the riverbank, and boy, were they happy they did so. Four of the large shell-like objects emerged from the dirt, and at first sight, the archaeologist couldn't help but feel that these strange masses belonged to a group of creatures some people even keep as pets. Tortoises. After all, what other animal would need shells as large as these? But upon further study, the archaeologist realized these enormous casings couldn't have belonged to any animal that walks the earth today, or even a thousand years ago. No, the researchers were certain these shells belonged to a group of glyptodons, prehistoric creatures that roamed South America some 30 million years ago. In fact, glyptodons are the ancestors of modern-day armadillos, though not quite as adorable. Glyptodons were enormous armored mammals, the average of which stood 5 feet tall, 11 feet in length, and weighed upward of 2 tons. To put that into perspective, most of these creatures were roughly the size of a Volkswagen Beetle. Along with its thick, bony shell, Glyptodons also possessed heavily armored heads and tails that could be wielded as weapons. Unfortunately, these protective measures simply weren't enough. Glyptodons faced heavy predation from larger creatures, and even early humans hunted them to use their shells for shelter. By the beginning of the Holocene Epoch, roughly 10,000 years ago, the last of the Glyptodons had gone extinct. But while shells like these had been unearthed in South America prior to Juan's discovery, very rarely were multiple Glyptodons found together. In that respect, finding four of them in one location was truly something for the history books. It's the first time there have been four animals like this in the same site, explained Pablo Messino, one of the on-site archaeologists. Most of them were facing the same direction, like they were walking towards something. With that in mind, these creatures were clearly traveling together, almost like a prehistoric family. In fact, the archaeologist even surmised that these four glyptodons could have been a mother and father leading their young. Not only did this open up the possibility of a familial hierarchy existing amongst these creatures, but it also called into question whether sexual dimorphism played a role in their development. Given that the fossilized shells varied in size, it's very possible that gender determined how big a glyptodon could grow. These kinds of cases in which several individuals together who died in the same circumstances are really exceptional and undoubtedly it will give us a lot of information about these enigmatic animals and will allow us to test several hypotheses that we've been driving in recent years," shared site paleontologist Ricardo Benini. Benini and his team worked diligently to completely excavate the glyptodon remains, 
as actually moving the thousand pound shells will require another round of intense effort. But once the family of four is ready to roll, big plans have already been set for them. The glyptodons will be transported to the Institute of Archaeological and Paleontological Investigations of the Pampa Quaternary for examination and DNA testing. Researchers hope that further study will reveal additional insight into their lives, including their sex, exact age, and cause of death. Please share this with your friends and family.